So in this video, I'm going to elaborate on the flat 5 substitution shortcut. So we talked a, a little bit about this in the last video. So if you have a target chord C major, so instead of going from the 5 chord, which is the normal way of doing things, you go from the flat 5 sub chord, which is D flat 7. So the formula is you go from, well, of course, the uh, original formula, um, the uh, genesis is um, you go from the 5 chord, so you go up a flat 5th, okay? Or flat five, and uh, you should end up with D flat, making the dominant seven, and they will share a lot of chord tones together, especially the guide tones. Okay, and uh, the shortcut is to simply go up half a step from the target chord, the one chord, say C major seven, and just play dominant seven chord. And to generalize, we can really approach either major seven, minor seven, or even dominant seven by a dominant seven chord, as long as the dominant seven chord is a half step up. Okay, so the um, Let's take a look at an example. So on my right hand side, you have um, one chord. So G major 7, G minor 7, G dominant 7, they would all work. Okay. And you have, uh, normally, you should have a five chord approaching the one, right? So D7. So here, you know, um, we are focusing on the shortcut. So next time you see a one chord, if, and if you want to play the flat five sound, so G major 7, uh, you can just go over half a step. So G, A flat 7. Okay, so it's super handy. Okay, so G, so I would just play A flat seven before it's G minor. Same thing here. Um, dominant seven chord, it would still work here. So go up half a step and play dominant seven chord. So in the future, whenever you see a one chord and you want to produce a flat five sound, just go up half a step and play a dominant seven chord, and that uh, it would act as a substitute for the five chord. And uh, just to elaborate even more, the flat five sub and the five, five seven substitution, they are really similar chords, okay, in terms of chord tone. So when you're soloing, everything that you play on a G seven chord will most probably work on the D flat seven chord as well, okay. So that's it for this video. We're gonna look at some tension tones in the next video, okay. See you there.